we call this space imagination of creation. To bring this to life, let me show you a concept video that stitches together some of our more exciting experiments in service of imagination to creation. Let's take a look. Hey, what if we made a game out of cardboard boxes? Yeah, let's do it. Make a maze of cardboard boxes. What do you think? Hmm, not bad, but maybe a little too simple. Make it more complex. How's that? What if we make it multi-level? Whoa, let's give that one a go. That's cool. All right, who are we gonna play as? Make two characters with weapons. Hmm, I want... Okay, let's see. Um, um, here we oh, go. I like this one. Not now that my one. weapon of How choice. About, ooh. Not bad, not bad. Okay, that's cool, but how do we fight? Show me 1v1 combat options. It should be a death match. Right? Here I come. You gotta find me first. Wait, what if we made it so we could only die from a grenade? Oh, now I'm definitely going to win. Add a rule that you can only die by grenade. I'm almost there. I've got something for you. Almost got you. Nice try. <laughs> Ugh, dead end. I think this world needs to be bigger. Make it more epic. Wow. Are you seeing this? Yeah. That's awesome. Let me take a moment to describe some of the more transformative elements embedded in the video you just saw. What you saw was an illustration of two friends jumping into an open sandbox and then creating a new world made of boxes in real time without any coding expertise and in a matter of seconds. They then quickly shifted to remixing existing elements from their favorite EA games, asset libraries, databases, and communities, elements like characters, weapons, gameplay systems, and logic. Even here, the incredible thing is they were able to do this instantaneously using nothing more than natural language. This remixing of foundational elements would not be possible without EA's massive proprietary data set, which includes hundreds of thousands of high quality 3D assets, millions of lines of code, billions of gameplay hours, and trillions of telemetry events. This is all invaluable data as we think about the training of our own custom creation models. And our data set grows by the minute as we're a digital life services company with millions of daily touch points with our communities. Now going back to the video, once the players you saw, you know, they were happy with their initial creations, they started to play. And they were able to rapidly iterate on the fun as they went along. Ultimately, by the end, they created a social game experience. One that started with our AAA content as a foundation, but that quickly took on a life of its own, beyond something we built. Over time, you can imagine these same players and others like them continuing to build in, around, and beyond EA's foundations. Maybe even creating experiences that become the basis of entirely new chart-topping IP. This would represent a new level of symbiotic relationship between our own developers and UGX creators. And one with our own IPs being the launch pads for new experiences and businesses. We hope this gives you a taste of our vision for the future of UGX, a world of true imagination to creation. And we're well positioned to execute on this vision. Our confidence is rooted in our leadership in a few areas. Beyond our vision, these areas include game development, technology and AI, and what I briefly mentioned earlier, data. These are all core ingredients for the future of UGX and also happen to be the core strengths of our company.